Breakups are hard. Whether you're the dumper or the dumpy, it's a very difficult thing to deal with. It might feel like you'll never make it out of the heart-shattering sadness, but you will. Here are five things you can do to help put yourself back together after a breakup. Number one, experience it. The only way to really get over a breakup is to deal with it. Don't distract yourself. Let yourself feel the emotions, one at a time. There will be good times and there will be bad. But the most important thing is to give yourself time. If you feel like crying, cry. Crying has a bad reputation, but it's extremely therapeutic. Crying isn't losing control, it's gaining it back through owning your emotions. Number two, focus on yourself. After being the second half of a couple for a while, we tend to forget what it feels like to be on our own again. Be your own person. Do whatever you feel like doing. Try thinking about you, and only you, for a little bit to regain that awesome sense of independence that you lost while being someone's significant other. This can be done in a number of ways. Treat yourself to something nice, like a delicious dinner, or a day out and about. Maybe take the time to reevaluate your health goals, or even set personal goals for yourself. Indulge a little. Buy yourself a nice outfit or something you've had your eye on. Get your favorite food or a bottle of wine and enjoy it, with or without friends. Take time to remind yourself of who you are. Number three, try new things. Have you always wanted to take guitar lessons? Take a yoga class? Finally read that book you bought three years ago. Well, now you have the time. Find a new hobby or take a class you've been wanting to take. You'll get out more, meet new people, and most importantly, get that pesky ex off your mind. Number four, reach out to family and friends. Friends and family are around for a reason. You know all those times you've had to console your loved ones when they've been in a rough place? Now it's time for payback. True friends are people who love and support you no matter what. You deserve their time and attention and shouldn't be afraid to reach out and ask for it. Spend the weekends reconnecting with your parents, grandparents, and siblings. Too often we take family for granted. So this is a great chance to sneak in some home cooked meals and show your family that you care. Not only that, consider volunteering to help others. This also lets you go out and meet new people. You'll make new friends and possibly a new love interest. Number five, move on. It's not uncommon for two people to break up and want to remain friends, but the most important thing you can do is distance yourself from that person. If that means taking a month long vacation to Mexico, so be it. Don't text, call, or email them. What you both need at this point is space. Breakups create emotional wounds, and if you are in constant contact with your ex, you will never give yourself the time you need to heal. After the healing process, go out and meet new people. There's some truth to the old adage the best way to get over someone is to get under someone. Join Tinder or some other dating and go out. You're sure to meet someone new, someone you can connect to on a deeper level. Breakups are difficult, but they aren't the end of the world. In fact, they're the start of something new and better. What do you think of these tips? Share your thoughts and any tips you have on dealing with breakups below. Be sure to like and subscribe to see more content from us. Thanks for watching.